welcome to another video. I have a really exciting unboxing today. This is a sneak peek from Mary's Diamonds. This is my first time to do a sneak peek from them and I am so, so excited. One of the reasons why I'm so excited for this is that Nicole with Bella Art Day Nicole, who now owns Mary's Diamonds, asked me what I would like to have, either round or square, and so I told her, and then she said that based on what she thinks each of us would like, that's what she's going to send. So it was a surprise to me as well of what she was going to send me until I actually opened the box that this was in. On the other side of the box, it does have a thumbprint, a thumbnail of what's in the box. So I was really excited when I saw it and I thought, yeah, Nicole and Jamie really do know me because it was something that I would definitely choose if I were simply looking on their site. This one along with, I believe, eight others will be available on Saturday, July the 8th, and that's at 1.30 Mountain Daylight Time. And so you can go and see what that would be for your time zone. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. With Mary's Diamonds, when Bella Art Day Nicole purchased Mary's Diamonds, they did decide to go ahead and keep Mary's Diamonds box. So that is the same if you've ordered before from Mary's Diamonds. And this says, share your magic with the world. Don't forget to tag us and it has Mary's Diamonds. Where to find Mary's Diamonds on Facebook as well as on Instagram. And if we look on the back of this box, it is going to tell you how to diamond paint if you're not sure how. On this end, you won't have this on your box, but on my box it says, we apologize for opening your diamond painting box. Since this kit is part of our first prints, we wanted to ensure that everything was in good condition and according to our standards, we also made sure a Bella Art essential tray was included. Sincerely, Bella Art and Mary's Diamonds team. So that's really nice. So let's look at the thumbnail. It's gonna be kind of hard to see because I do have it up so close, but that's gonna be really pretty. And this one is called Princess of the Night, and this is licensed from Tony Calero. And that's really small, so I will make sure that's correct once I open the box. I will also include any information that I can find, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, or the artist. I'll put that underneath the description. So, let's get into this. And... Nicole also knows that I enjoy larger canvases. I don't have a problem with them. So this, I believe, is one of their larger ones. Let's see. I hear some things coming out. Let's see what we've got here. I may not be able to get all of this in screen, but I'll definitely show you everything. It sounds like something. Oh, it's just a toolkit. Toolkit's rattling a little bit. Okay, so let's first look at the toolkit to see what we get. Now, as I mentioned, this one does come in round, but with all of Mary's Diamond's kits, you have your option of either square or round. And so I just told Nicole that I would prefer round, so that way she has that on file. She knows going forward. I love squares, but I can go faster with rounds. This is a 60 by 80. So let's get the toolkit out here and see what all that we have. Okay, we have three, and these are round wax. And make sure if you use this wax, you do take the top and the bottom plastic off. Otherwise, you will not be able to load up your pin. I'm gonna put these in here, and that's what I heard rattling. This top had just come off, so it's no big deal. And then we have a pin 
single placer is at the bottom. There's a two placer here if you like to multi-place. And I am just guessing, this one doesn't say, a six or a seven placer possibly. And then this one, give you another one too, that's really nice. There's another placer there. You also have a squishy that you can put on your pen. If you use these kind of pens, it does help. And then we have tweezers. And these are the pokey kind, so be careful. Make sure you keep the cover on so you don't poke yourself. And then we have washi. And the washi is random washi, so you may get this washi, you may get something else. And it may not match your kit, but it does help if you want to keep the ends clean because sometimes the glue goes over the top. We also have this lovely essential tray, and that's from Bella Art. If you have not tried um, Bella Art Dana Cole's accessories, they are really good. This is a really heavy duty. It's not just a flimsy plastic, so that's really nice. Okay, we also have this sticker sheet. And the sticker sheet shows what the canvas is going to look like. And this is Tony Calero. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, I do apologize. But I love princesses. My daughter saw the thumbnail and she said, that looks like um, Princess Peach. And I said, nope, it's not Princess Peach. And then she said at first, then she said, I think it looks like um, Sailor Moon. And so the face kind of looks like Sailor Moon, but I think it's just a resemblance. I don't think it's really Sailor Moon, but it is a princess. And we have 57 colors. And what I'm seeing here, which I very rarely see, is that the numbers here, one through eight, they're actually one through eight on the symbols, which is really nice because sometimes a number four could be, you know, a 10. So I don't understand why companies do that, but I'm sure there's a reason. I don't see any of the symbols that would give me a hard time. Now, number 10 here is a little dark, but I can see what it is. I don't have a problem with that. There is an eight, but there is not a letter B that I can see, which makes it really nice because eights and Bs to me look so similar when you're trying to go through and looking at drills. And let's see, there's a lowercase. There's a lowercase, and I don't see uppercase of the same letter, so that's all. Yeah, there are a couple, lowercase a, and then uppercase a, so that's fine. But these are all individual, they're already pre-cut for you and you just can put those either on your bags if you like to work directly out of the baggie, or if you want to, you can do that on your containers, which is what I do. I am one of those that has to use containers. Now this looks like it has um, some places in it, but it doesn't on the canvas. It is just because it's been rolled up for so long. So I'm going to roll it in the opposite direction here. And with poured glue, you can do this. And I'm loving these colors. I love purple, I love blue, I love pink. So again, thanks Nicole. I think she really does know me, she gets me. Because these are my colors, and these are my daughter's colors. Look how pretty that this is. I'm gonna try to bring it out a little bit more. I am in my dining room, hoping that that would help. But look at all the purples, and there's gonna be a lot of color blocking in here, which I really need right now, because everything that I am doing is actually heavy, heavy confetti. This is gonna be so much color blocking. This will not take me very long to do. And this is already starting to flatten out. I mean, I hasn't even been out of the box at all. I've been stalking the UPS um, driver all day, and I saw UPS was coming to my neighborhood, and I was waiting right there. And so as soon as it came to my door, I grabbed it, opened it, and then I started recording. So it has not been out of the box, but just a few minutes. So I'm loving this. I love how soft that the back of this is. It is just really soft. It doesn't feel like you know hard 
leather or hard plastic. Sometimes they, it's not really leather, but it feels like leather on some of um, the kits that I've gotten. But this one is really good. Let's check the sticky test. 57 colors is a good amount of colors. Yes, very nice and sticky. It is 23.62 by 31.5 inches. For those of you that prefer inches over centimeters, I've gotten now to wear with diamond painting, I know about what size that I like based on centimeters and not on inches. 60 by 80 for me is really good. Um, the ends are scalloped, and if you can see, they are poked, so that does help with fraying. And what I was referring to by the washi is that it doesn't go over very far. It goes over a little bit, but sometimes if you may get your sweater in here if you're doing this and you're, you're wearing long sleeves or if you know you have animals you can get some over on the side to make it look dirty so i usually just put washi i like to match my washi and i may use this washi i may use something else but i like to go ahead and line it whenever i am working on it so that way it doesn't get dirty i have a cat and two dogs so and i'm always I usually wear long sleeves and when I'm wearing long sleeves, I'm forever getting my sleeve stuck. And so then I have little fibers that's on the end. So I definitely try to keep that covered. Uh, another thing I really like about Mary's Diamonds is that they have their table on the side here. And they also have it upside down over here. If you like to flip your painting when you're working on it. I flip mine upside down, sideways, and it helps that now if you have this over here, if you need to glance at the table for any reason, then it's right here and you don't have to flip it back over to look for the table. So that is really cool. Also going to show you at the top, I'm gonna go over to the top a little bit so you can see this a little better, a little close up. This says, Share your love for Mary's Diamonds on social media. And then it also gives the hashtag, which is Mary's Diamonds. And then it says Mary's Diamonds over here. And it says filling the gap between art and craft. Love that. And then over here, it has Mary's Diamonds as well as Bella Art Day Nicole's website. They're the same company. They have two separate websites. But look how pretty that she is. Let's see how many ABs. We have one, two, three. We have five ABs in here, which I'm loving that. And I might go ahead, I can see right now where I can easily, without even having to think, any hesitations of how I can bling this up. And I'm really enjoying doing that now. So I can bling up her hair, also up in the sky, the stars. But let's open these drills and let's take a look at the AB. Sorry for the crinkling. And I love her hair, very, very long hair. Okay, here are the ABs. These are in, let's see, one, two. Okay, these are in DMC order. I'm just gonna pull one out. Do we have three tens in here? Wow, there's not any three tens in this canvas. Three ten is your black, and usually with three tens, if I'm gonna have any problems with any drills, it's gonna be three tens. The darker drills tend to have more of an issue. Oh, but wow, 791. This is like a navy. Let me look at this one. 791. That's a full bag. I'm going to get my new tray here. I'm going to pour some of these in here. I'm just going to look. And then we're going to look. We're not going to go through all the drills, but I'm going to look at the ABs. And I don't see, and I should not say this, shouldn't say this. I'm probably going to jinx myself. But so far, I'm not seeing any static. And if you have watched any of my videos, on um, unboxings and especially kitting ups, my static has been absolutely horrendous. So I am glad. 
I love how these are easily lining up. I'm not really doing anything. Just shaking it a little bit, it's easily lining up. Look how pretty those drills are. Those are very shiny. I don't see any dimples or anything on here. They're all really pretty. I'm gonna put this back in here because I don't want to forget about it. And then I think, well, what, what bag did I get that out of? Let's go ahead and put that in here. Okay. Now the ABs, we have this white. This one is, and it tells you here, that's number 57 on here. So if we go and look at the table for 57, that is going to be a check mark. Now it doesn't tell us that on here, but if we wanted to use our stickers, we can just go take 57 off of here and put it on our bag if we like to use the baggies. And unfortunately, I don't. I love to kit up, so for me, kitting up is part of the fun. Let's see, check mark, that's probably, uh, it may take me a minute here. I think that's going, okay, here's some right here. Check mark over here, that is going to be these ABs. So it's gonna go in here and all over here, if you can see that. And it looks like stars there. And then all up here in this area that's part of her hair, that's gonna be ABs. All this over here that's going down, that's going to be this one. Then we have, this is a pretty yellowish AB. That's number 56. That's a paper clip. So let's look at a paper clip together. This is not easy trying to look at this. Where is a paper clip? I'm probably looking right at it. And you're probably screaming, I can see it, why can't you? And it is some in her hair over here. I can see some little paper clips. There's some up here. Let me go down this way. Up here in these stars, those, all of those in the center of those, that's a paper clip. That's going to be an 80. That's our second AB. Now this one, oh, I love this color. This has a purple shimmer to it on this AB, but then it also looks really dark, but then it looks silver in different light. So it has some purple in it, some blue. That's number 55. So let's take a look at that. That is a triangle. That should not be that hard to find because there's not that many dark ones on here. I bet that's gonna be up here as well. Um, let me see. That's gonna be up here in the sky. I can see the triangles there all through there. So that's our third one. And then we have number 54, that's a minus sign. That's this one, look how pretty that is. That's going to be, now I'm finding all the check marks and let's see the minus sign. That's going to be through some of her dress, through some of her dress here. And then we have, I think one more. That is number 53, that gorgeous purple. And that is an A, lowercase a, and I just saw that one. That is going to be through here. Through here, it's going to also be here's some more of the minus sign that I just showed you, number 54. That one's all through here too, the minus sign. And there's another one here that's a minus sign. This one, the lowercase a, that one's not as easy to find as the other ones. That one's just popped out. Let me have to look for that one. It's got to be through her dress, because that's what, there it is, right through here. That is going to be where our ABs are for this color. 
And so I can definitely see where on her hair, I think I may add some ABs to her hair, such as maybe the top of her head. If you look at her bun and she has some type of an accessory in her hair, that would be really pretty to add some ABs there. And then with the moon behind her, just sprinkling in some crystals, that would be really pretty too. And I have recently purchased some slivers that I have never used a sliver before. And so I might put that in some of the stars. We'll have to see on that. I'll have to play with that because I've never used them. And if I don't like it, I can just pull them up. So it's no big deal. But there are, let's see, 554. That is going to be the majority of her dress. These are huge bags of 554. And I honestly do not see, just glancing through all of this, I do not see any static. One way to find out, shake this up a little bit. Let's see how they're, they stick. This bag's so full, maybe that's why. Let's find one that's not as full to see. Here's one, here's another one. I'm gonna shake it up, see how bad it sticks to the walls of the bags. And I don't see it sticking at all. So I'm excited just for that. But I love this canvas. And I want to thank Mary's Diamond so much for thinking of me, for sending this to me, because this is definitely me. It is something that if I were not given this as a sneak peek, I would see this and I would go right for it. I absolutely adore this canvas. And I really like that it's got color blocking in it. Um, that's really going to help me um, give me a break from some of the others. I have got to work on the one that I am currently working on from the retreat that I took with me. I wanna get that one done and then I'm going to work on this one and just work on it sporadically because I wanna get this started. So you will see this one kitted up sometime in July or early part of August. I definitely want to get my hands on this and start laying some drills down by um, the beginning to middle of August, no later than the first part of September. If you liked this one, or maybe this one isn't your cup of tea, go check out Mary's Diamonds on their website and especially check out on Saturday because they are gonna have those new releases and I'm sure there will be something that you would like. Thanks so much again for watching and until next time, happy diamond painting, bye.